Today is December 21st, year 2024. I booted it into a Fossapop CE4 Puppy Linux from a Ventoy USB stick. Um, so that's what you see here. But today, uh, what we'll be doing is we'll, I want to show you how to install Void Pop uh, 64 into internal hard drive. First thing is will the F12 will bring it up and the system will go to a G part it here and then uh, internal hard drive is the uh, first one there so right now it's completely empty so what we have to do is uh, we'll have to right click and then uh, uh, let's go to device and then we want to create a device uh, uh, table partition table type it should be a GPT uh, because this is a UEFI uh, uh, BIOS so it's not for le uh, legacy BIOS but uh, more recent UEFI BIOS so we're gonna apply that and then new we're gonna give it 500 uh, uh, megabyte and then ext uh, fat32 and it should be efi this is for grub this is where the grub's gonna go and then uh, i have 120 gig of ssd so uh, i have a lot of space and i'll give a, a little over 10 a gig for uh, different pups puppy linux but uh, today we're just gonna install uh, void pop 64 into this so ext4 is uh, fine label i have uh, pups is fine and then rest of it we're just going to go ahead and uh, give it a uh, uh, sav uh, capital sav partition because a unique uh, a puppy linux uh, you should uh, have all the save folders in a, a unique uh, partition so we'll go ahead and get uh, uh, do that and then if you have less than 4 gig of RAM you should have in addition just uh, give it about 4 gig of uh, uh, Linux uh, swap uh, partition here but we're gonna skip that because uh, uh, I have 8 gig here 8 gig of RAM so we're just gonna apply this whole thing here apply and then it's very quick and then on free, you have to make sure that you put a fla boot flag on the first partition. So right click on and then go to manage flags and then ESP. You click that and you should also click, um, puts a tick on a, a boot. So that's all correct. And now partitioning is all done. So that's, so now we have three partitions. One, two, three. And then next thing what we're gonna have to do is uh, go to setup, and then go to frugal pup installer. So we're gonna first thing we're gonna go to the settings, and then we're gonna make sure that there is separate uh, save location because we uh, created the uh, save uh, save partition here, and then also make sure that there is auto save, and then OK. And then puppy, we're gonna uh, put in a void uh, uh, pup uh, 64, so ISO is fine, and we're gonna have to point toward the, where the ISO is, and the ISO is here in the external hard drive. ISO void pup 64 is what we're gonna uh, put in right there. I'll leave a description uh, uh, where you can download this. And then drag it here so void pup uh, is ready to go. And then we're gonna put it in uh, pups. And then we're gonna give it a folder name of VO just to, for organization purposes. Because if you wanna put in uh, FOSA pup, for example, here, you can also do that. But after you type in VO, make sure you enter return key and then it's ready and then 
we want to know where the save location so it's going to be under save a capital S S A V, and then within it we also want to create a this is what I recommend a save folder and then uh, return key again and OK and then OK and it's gonna and then uh, it says it's installed in second partition okay we'll just check the second partition so indeed there is a VO and there's all the files so we don't need this and we also don't need this and then now we have to configure grub so boot and this is where the uh, uh, v, uh, VO is and then so here and then we're gonna put it uh, grub uh, uh, in the first partition uh, in the hard drive so we want to go ahead and give it an OK UEFI is fine and then OK and then OK so let's just take a brief look at the uh, grub uh, CFG and then put it in Genie and uh, so this is uh, where uh, uh, puppy uh, uh, void pup64 is but I usually ju just want to make it easy for me and uh, I'll just make it a VO and then yeah, I find that I almost never use the other uh, menus so save and then now it's all ready to go so what you have to do is uh, when you uh, reboot at this point you make take out the Ventoy USB stick and then let it uh, boot into void pop uh, 64 in internal hard drive